The purpose of this video is to briefly demonstrate the use of the dual light targeted phototherapy system. Actual UV light dosing protocols will vary depending upon the disease being treated. However, the method of use is the same for all applications. After turning the power on and completing a two minute warm up period, the system is ready for calibration. Calibration is simple to perform. The process involves placing the handpiece in the system calibration port and stepping on the foot switch. After several seconds, the calibration process is completed. Please pardon the wandering brightness of the display. This is an artifact of the videotaping process. Push button controls allow the operator to enter whatever dose of UV light is desired. First, enter the patient's minimal erythemal dose or MED. Then select the desired multiple of the patient's MED from 1 to 8. Thereafter, the instrument displays the total dose of UV light that will be delivered to the skin. For demonstration purposes, a plastic disc will be used. It changes color when exposed to UV light. A lesion representing typical elbow or knee disease is outlined in red. Dual light targeted phototherapy involves placing the disposable handpiece tip directly on the skin and stepping on the foot switch. The desired dose of UV light is delivered in a matter of seconds. To treat the entire lesion, the handpiece is moved from one skin segment to another. A clear plastic template is provided to protect uninvolved skin from exposure to UV light. It takes only minutes to treat an area of localized disease. Treatment regimens for psoriasis normally involve treatment sessions performed twice per week for three to six weeks. In addition to elbow and knee disease, the dual light is particularly useful in the treatment of scalp disease. Simply part the hair with the fingers and step on the foot switch to deliver the desired dose of UV light. That completes a quick demonstration on the use of the dual light system. The following information is provided for individuals who wish to learn more about its features and controls. A frequent question is, how do you determine what the initial dose of UVB should be? The answer involves phototesting. Phototesting is a procedure used to determine how sensitive a patient's skin is to UVB. It is quick and easy to perform. First, isolate an area of normal skin with little history of exposure to UV radiation. Frequently, this skin area is located on the lower back, upper abdomen, or buttock area. The dual light has six pre-programmed doses that vary by Fitzpatrick grade skin type. Enter the patient's skin type into the dual light system. Since UV light will not immediately change the color or appearance of the skin, some doctors wish to mark the skin to show where each dose of UV light is to be applied. At 24 hours, these marks also are useful to verify what dose produced each erythemal response and helps avoid confusion when phototest results are evaluated. To deliver phototest doses, place the handpiece tip on the skin and step on the foot switch to deliver the first dose of UV light. Then move the handpiece to a nearby skin patch and deliver the second dose of light and so on until all six doses have been delivered to the skin. This plastic disc turns color when it is exposed to UV light. However, actual skin will not show any changes in color, erythema, or redness until 24 hours later. The following slide shows typical skin responses observed 24 hours after phototest doses are delivered to the skin. These are images of phototest results on the lower backs of two patients at 24 hours. The minimal erythemal dose is defined as minimal pinkness with defined borders. In the patient on the left hand side, the minimal erythemal dose or 1 MED is 150 millijoules per centimeter squared. In the patient on the right, the MED is 120 millijoules per centimeter squared. The MED of the patient should be recorded because it will be important in determining the dose of UV light that will be used during the first treatment of the patient. For psoriasis, it is common to initiate treatment using a UVB dose that is six to eight times the patient's MED. After three to four treatment sessions, the scale will disappear, leaving smooth underlying disease. It is at this point that the dose of UVB is reduced to four to five MEDs for the duration of the treatment regimen. 
Several maintenance treatments may also be required. Please know that the treatment protocol for targeted PUVA using the UVA channel of the Dualite system is very different from that utilized for UVB. In addition, for vitiligo, the treatment protocol typically does not involve the use of high-dose targeted phototherapy. However, the targeted nature of UV light delivery is particularly well suited to the treatment of localized disease. This concludes our video on the use of the Dualite targeted phototherapy system. You're welcome to contact us if you have any questions about the product. We'd be happy to provide you with any information that we have available. We of course hope you believe that the Dualite will be a valuable addition to your practice. Please do not hesitate to call or email us to discuss pricing, warranty, or servicing information.